A big warm welcome to the next series that I'm doing called the Keto Log. Alright, so this is pretty much where I'll be going and getting myself keto adapted. Now what that means is you're actually getting your body to burn fats uh, and you're not really used to burning fats because carbohydrates being in your diet, well your body likes to prefer uh, burning carbohydrates instead because it is an easier fuel source. Alright, so now what we're doing is we're actually strapping back all the carbs uh, to less than about 5% of your daily intake. Now what that's going to do is actually force your body to burn fats. Alright, and this is called ketosis. Alright, so I haven't done it before so it's just as new to me as it is to you for you to watch me do it so you get to watch me suffer. Apparently, uh, through research and other friends that have done it, uh, the first two weeks of adapting yeah, your body doesn't really like it. So look, I'm gonna log everything for you guys and hopefully give you all the tips, tricks, uh, and just the updates to tell you how I'm going. Um, a big warm welcome back, I guess, to the guys that actually followed me along through uh, my fat log and my cutting log. So what I did there was pretty much got fat for everyone. See a lot of my clients and stuff come to me and they say they're gonna eat healthy just because they wanna lose weight. But uh, what I did was pretty much broke that misconception that people don't understand that it's not just about eating healthy food it's pretty much the timing the types of food so getting the right balances of your macronutrients so your protein carbs fats um, so I pretty much got fat eating healthy food uh, but I pretty much did what you shouldn't do <laughs> alright so all the what not to do's I did all that just to get fat to actually show everyone that that's what it's about and then I did the exact opposite all right, so during the cutting log, I showed you exactly what to do, how to go about it, the different options, um, how to pretty much freestyle as well. Uh, for the first half, I didn't really go off a diet too strictly. Um, still made a diet for myself, and then I pretty much showed everyone how to veer off and just go off like your, your macronutrients. So just choosing what to eat uh, and when to eat it, so to lose weight. Uh, so a lot of tips, tricks through that. If you want to get uh, more updates on that, please feel free to go across to our YouTube channel or Facebook uh, and check the whole series out. So make sure you go to the blog as well if you want to get all the tips. All right, but for now, this is the start of something new. Ketosis. All right, I'll see you soon. I've done my refeed. So that sucked. Didn't get to do my refeed. And instead, stuck to the keto diet at 3,000 calories. Still went out for dinner, had a mad steak with some bacon and butter um, to still fit it in and everything, which was really good. Went to Outback Jacks for that. All right, come today, uh, still trying to stick to 3,000 calories. All right, I'm trying to uh, stick to the low amount of calories. I should be on about 3,500. Is still a deficit for me. Uh, so I'm really pushing the boundaries there. And I think trying to transition into keto at the same time. I was probably asking for it this morning, I don't know, couldn't, I didn't even want to move. Um, I just had a bad attitude over the weekend, very grumpy, low as hell energy. Um, so what I'm going to do today is top it up to 3500, see how I feel on 3500 calories for the day. Alright, so my protein is going to go from 190 to 210. Still don't, uh, still don't want my protein to be too high because uh, having low glucose, uh, your body can turn the protein into um, glycogen through glyco uh, glycogenesis. So don't want to do that. Um, and the fats are going up to about 280, so we'll see how we go. Um, had a little bit more calories for lunch then, feeling a little bit better. We'll see how we go. This is going to be the second week for ketosis adaption. What is happening? Just went for a shop to the Whole Food Merchant to see what I could actually get. On top of what I already discovered, some uh, low carb chips that were like made out of flax seeds and stuff. So it's a little bit higher in fat, but that's what the keto diet is about. So, upon discovering the low carb chocolate, high fat though, yes, uh, with dark cocoa or dark chocolate using cocoa. In this whole section, I didn't bother to look at all the other stuff. We have kelp noodles. The stats on this is craziness. That is, per 100 grams, one gram of carb, no sugar. So what the hell, you got three serves in there, massive. You could even have that whole bag and you'd still be in ketosis. So it's just like a bit of a filler, uh, but apparently it smells, so I'll let you know how that goes. 
all these sauces um, they're not as thick as sauces obviously they might have some thickening agents in it but low carb again we've just used some stevia and splendid to sweeten it up do be careful of sucralose and a few other uh, sweeteners that are fake especially aspartame um, apparently they can cause spike in insulin but I'm still researching the crap out of that to see uh, if that's true or not. Alright, we got a lot of flour based stuff that actually uh, replaces, sorry, replaces flour. It's actually almond meal. So this is how we're going to get like our muffins and stuff and still fit in our keto. Um, coconut milk. Now I'm a new coconut milk believer. These taste awesome. These I'm not so sure about. We're going to see how they go. This is what, 3 grams per wrap. The wraps are pretty big as well, so if you still wanted your chicken wraps and stuff or whatever you wrap your uh, stuff in, so salad wrap, you can have that, but I've seen these before and they crumble to nothingness, so we'll see how they go. Uh, I'll keep you posted as well, and obviously I still got some salt and vinegar, uh, what do you call it, seaweed, seaweed chips, they've just been lightly baked and then topped with uh, salt and vinegar, they're pretty good. Um, the other thing I wanted to get was something with no sugar, no sweetener, uh, that could rehydrate me because I'm so dehydrated, everything's hurting, so uh, I'm drinking enough water as well, but obviously when you go into ketosis and lower your carbs, when there's no carbs in your system, you actually lose a lot of fluid because your kidneys essentially piss out all your sodium. Sodium being an electrolyte, well, you're losing your hydration as well. So. I restocked or got some of this it's called Endure Rehydration. Um, pretty much just magnesium, potassium, sodium uh, in a nice big combination for you. It just makes it easier. So you can probably mix that with, I know, something that's really low carb or just scull it down. Uh, just chuck the powder in your mouth and wash it down. Alright, I want to share this experience with you guys. So, we've got our kelp noodles here. Apparently these things smell when you open them, so we'll see how they go. And I'll uh, even video me cooking these things. Apparently they're pretty much ready to eat. All you need to do is rinse it, and you're done. Uh, or even put it in hot water for about a minute and then rinse it again. So what I'm going to do is probably boil, boil some water first. I'm going to get my sieve out. Kinda strange. Almost smells like nothingness. I can almost smell the packet more. These are essentially nothingness noodles. Kelp noodles. Sodium alginate and coneberry. Kelp sodium alginate. So yeah, we go. So I'm just gonna plonk it in the strainer. Step one, done. And then, all you do is chuck it in a pot. You don't even boil it. Um, it just says to put it in hot water, so that's why I'm boiling the kettle right now. It's gonna go in there. Mm. Interesting, it actually does, it does smell it does smell kind of funky. <laughs> we'll see what they taste like. Oh, I was going to put sauce with it, but I think we've got to taste it without any sauce first. Oh, they're crunchy. It's pretty good. What? This is really good. We'll see how they uh Water goes. Oh, we're boiled. Right. It does say hot water, not boiling water. Um, so we're just going to leave it in there for a minute. I don't know if the screen's going all foggy. Oh. Now I was going to time it for a minute. Just let that sit in there. 
let it soften up a bit. I hope that doesn't soften it up too much. That was actually really nice. It's like uh, a light, a really light crunch. I'm just going to add some chicken to it as well. Now trying to think what else I can add. So I've got all my high fat stuff. You go for some cottage cheese. Could even put some nuts in there. Sour cream. Ooh. Could even try out these. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Someone wants to correct me on my pronunciation. Brock. Brock, what the fuck, what? Broccini, broccini, whatever. Health star rating five. Oh no, wait. Does that mean nothing? No, five. Yeah. Why is this so healthy? What? Yeah. It's good for us. No, it's good. Oh, or I could go halloumi. Apparently, you've got to cook it. Apparently, it tastes better, or it uh, brings out the salts a bit better. But I'm just gonna go with my. Get all some shredded chicken for now. There we go. Just gonna add a hundred gram of chicken. Oh, almost on the money, 97 grams, baby. Boom. Oh, I'll show you what the finished product is soon. Alrighty, so this is our finished product. Probably should have waited to mash it in, but we got our broccini balls, if that's how you pronounce it. Our kelp. Put some cottage cheese in there. We've got our chicken. Hello. Olives. What's going on? And yum powder. Quick concern, when you're actually going on ketosis, when insulin levels drop, uh, your body actually starts pissing out, like I've mentioned before, your sodium and potassium. Now, what you can actually do is either supplement it, which I do anyway, along with my BCAAs and stuff, brands chain amino acids. Um, but I actually track uh, using my fitness pal. All right, so I used to use this quite a bit. Can you see that? Yep. So there's my diary. But what this allows you to do, you can actually go to a nutrition breakdown at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that properly. Nutrition. And it actually gives you all the levels. All right, so you can also go to potassium and sodium. I've actually gone over my sodium. But my fitness pal doesn't actually know that I'm in ketosis. Like, I mean, if it puts two and two together, like, Obviously, I'm doing ketosis because the carbs are at 35 gram for the day. Um, but the recommendation of sodium at 2,300 is for a normal person. Uh, it's milligrams, by the way. So I think maybe you could be up anywhere between three and five grams. So in, in which case, I've still got another two or three grams to go. Uh, in sodium, potassium wise, I've got to pretty much get that from anywhere I can. I'm not going too bad at the moment, but again, these are the levels of a normal person. So, the idea behind maybe my fitness pal is just hit over the levels of uh, sodium and potassium. These both can be really lethal if they're either too low. I guess being in keto, you might not get it too high, but it is definitely a concern when it is too low. Too low, you're going to feel like cramping potassium you're gonna screw with your heart all right so just keep that in mind so I'm going through a very experimental uh, phase at the moment so switching to keto if you really think about it at the start it's quite daunting because you're thinking well what the hell can I actually have like there's almost nothing I can have and if you get into that little trap or that mindset well you're gonna stay there and then you're just gonna absolutely hate being in ketosis now it's you gotta experiment around like Whole Food Merchants has been sick. They've actually got like a whole sugar free or low carb section, um, which is where I found a lot of these sauces. That's chocolate sauce. I just tasted it then, what the hell. It is incredible. All right, stats on it. There's four grams of carb per 100. All right, this is only a 340 ml bottle and you're not gonna use all that. Like if you're just drizzling it on, I don't know, fruit or you want to put it in maybe like a coconut milk, something like that. Got an Italian dressing that's one gram of carb per hundred. Uh, with dressings, you only use 20 grams, so there's 0.2 carbs. All right, same again, digin, honey digin mustard. All right, so 
and also going to get some dark chalk mint man so these things are a little bit more expensive but you know I used to have refeeds like all over the place like my thing is going out and actually getting food like on my cheat days as you've probably seen if you watch previous videos is like pancake parlor going out to fancy restaurants honestly this food is that good that I'd almost rather eat at home um, and you're still killing the results I mean you're in ketosis you're burning fat like a motherfucker like just shredding fat and you've got all these delicacies it's just because it's a mind paradigm like the, the paradigm where your mind is at is you're not used to low carb all right so i'm 24 and i've had 24 years of eating carbs that's what my body's body knows all right so i know this is only into week two on ketosis but you know if it actually takes off and the results show I'm going to be a believer for ketosis and literally probably live a lifestyle of ketosis. Maybe when I bulk, um, I might go introduce some carbs just due to the power of insulin and muscle growth, but I'll get onto that on another topic. But then again, you know, you never know, I might actually uh, stick to ketosis and try bulk. Uh, first time for everything and that'll be a first time for me, so we'll see how that goes. That'll be quite interesting. So I can't wait to share that with you guys, but for now, ketosis all the way, experimenting, seeing what works, what doesn't, um, and what options there are. That's what you got to do too if you want to try it. Hope you liked the video guys, jump across to our YouTube channel and give that a subscribe to keep up to date on our weekly motivation and tips to help you on your weight loss journey. Also take a look at the videos down below for some humour, some laughs, and some free workouts and more motivation. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.